Hello everybody and welcome to the new fresh episode of how to do stuff around Starbucks. So today we're going to do something really special. I'm going to show you guys how to make some latte art. So what we're going to use for this is I just did my partner mark out uh, for my quad ristretto latte. And oh, I actually ordered a grande. So I'm going to get make sure it's the right cup. Always make sure that your drinks are in the right cup. So this is what the grande cup looks like. It's a 16 ounce cup and we're just going to stick it on there. You see that? My name is Steven, spelled with a PH, not a V. So my strategy usually is to try to put the sticker as far to the top as possible. That way, so when the sleeve goes on, that name is still visible. So that all those customers that are sitting around at the ends, you know, shuffling through, which shrink is which, they know they can see the name right there. So we're gonna actually start making right now. What you need for this, the old steaming pitcher and some milk. And for this, I'm going to use whole milk for the demonstration. Uh, it is a Quadristretto whole milk latte that we're going to make today. And I'm going to start by rinsing this. Make sure that your espresso machine is thoroughly rinsed and clean before you do it. It should always really be clean, but you never know. It gets busy around here and, man, all that stuff. Just things happen, you know? But you always want to keep it clean. So I had the milk poured to the second line, indicating the grande size. And what I'm gonna to wanna to do now is, we're gonna use that later. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna stick the milk right in the steamer, and pull the lever. Now we're gonna aerate it. It should be about one to three seconds, but I like a little extra foam in it, so I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna to try to get it a little more steamy than usual. That actually wasn't my best thing. So for ristretto shots, we press the ristretto button and it's a quad, so I'm gonna do those four shots right there. It's all, here at Starbucks, everything is super easy to do. We don't have to tamp the beans or anything. It's all just simple iconography. You can press the buttons with the pictures on it. It even has a sequencing right here. So everything is super straightforward. So our milk is done. And we want to, this is something to, cameraman, check this out, okay? Always, after every time you steam something, just take the sani, which should be clear, not white and milky. You should wipe it off and then blow it out for at least two seconds. Every time you steam it, otherwise, when you take it off, I'm not gonna try to do that right now, but it gets super gooky and all sorts of sludge gets stuck in it. You don't leave it clean, so you always wanna keep it clean. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna room in the milk. So check this out. Right now you have all this microfoam, but it's not really thick. It should really be the consistency of of paint. So we're just gonna hit that, get a little swirl, and that's a little better. Really not my finest milk, we could always do better. And now we're gonna make some latte art. This is what the tutorial is. Uh, so step one to making latte art is you pour the milk. Try a slow pour, kind of cut out the milk. And next we're gonna make the latte art. And there we go. That's like a evil snowman or something. And if I had a stop or something, I'd draw a little smiley face on it or something. And that's your drink. Next, you just cheers, you enjoy. That's a quality beverage handcrafted by a barista near you. Well, thank you for watching. If you like this video, remember to drop a like and uh, hit that subscribe button. I'm Slick or Steve or whatever you want to call me. Peace out, guys.